Hi everyone, this is Veronica. Today our topic of discussion is phasing out of single-use plastic. So we refer them as SUP, single-use plastic. So we'll discuss various prospects and challenges also. To connect with me for queries and updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook because I feel together we can make a difference. So now what is the relevance of this topic? See, in your mains paper 3, it will be covered under conservation, environmental pollution and degradation. At objective level, you should know about what are single-use plastic for subjective level you should know facing out single-use plastic and prospects and challenges so now it won uh, in what context today we are studying this because we have recently seen like on 73rd independence day prime minister appealed to the citizens to make country free of single-use plastic and to work this mission wholeheartedly and then in this earlier this month we have seen at UNCCD tell me the full form of UNCCD our prime minister said recall that the time has come for the world to say goodbye to single use plastics and this has not only brought plastics in the national spotlight but has actually started debates around the ban being good proposition or bad so just see what is the problem of plastic in our country so here in the black dot you can see this is the name of the city the one percentage that is written the numbers written in red so this is the plastic waste tons per day so it is calculated as tons per day okay the in red and then in the black the percentage is given it is the plastic waste like the percentage of municipal solid waste so you can in the comment box just write down what is your state or city showing so like in Srinagar 28 is the plastic waste tons per day 28.14 tons per day that means 5.12 percent is of that municipal solid waste and the uh, black color shows name of the city that is Srinagar right so now you can tell me about your city also. Now let's talk about what are after single use plastic. So as their name suggests single use plastics are those that are discarded after one time use. So besides the ubiquitous plastic bags, single use plastics include your water, flavored aerated drinks, bottles, takeaway food containers, disposable cutlery, straws and stirrers your processed food, packets, wrappers, cotton bud sticks, etc. And of these foamed products such as cutlery plates and cups are considered the most lethal to the environment. So here you can see these are referred as disposable plastics which are commonly used for plastic packaging and intended to be used only once before they are thrown away or recycled. So these include your grocery, polythene bags, food packaging, etc. Now we will talk about what is the role of states here because we are seeing a poor response from states. So as 2019 CPCB report, it remarked that various states and union territories are not fur uh, furnishing information regarding plastic waste management rules 2016 in their jurisdiction. So this even included your plastic waste generation records, creating state level advisory bodies, framing bylaws, marking and labeling of MPLs like multi-layered plastics, right? Plastic manufacturing, recycling units, etc. So states and union territories were not taking concrete steps to take preventive and regulatory measures envisaged under the rules. Now, why are states reluctant to impose a ban or take a steps towards facing out single-use plastic? Because there is a bigger debate over SUP ban. Issue is on the fact that more than a million workers will lose their jobs who are actually working in these industries. And according to 2018 estimate, there are more than 3,500 organized recycling units and more than 4,000 unorganized units and approximately 7 crore workers are employed in the industry. So this is very critical number and there needs to be a clear roadmap on how these workers will be transitioned to any other industry. Now we will talk about what could work to face out plastics. So here firstly let's talk about your baseline and inventory. What does this mean? Because there is a need for thorough analysis of environmental, social, economic impacts of SUPs. 
inventorization studies in order to estimate how much fraction of actually single use plastic is there in our plastic waste and how much of this fraction comprises of your packaging waste cutlery items that means we need to come over a particular data we should have a complete data over it and these numbers shall actually help us to assess the scale of such waste and look for a clear alternative so there needs to be an initiative at state level to push your cities to inventorize their dry waste since this composition of our waste has changed drastically with more plastics so it is very important that this this should be done only then we can assess the extent of their impact before imposing bans so before we impose bans such assessments are very necessary so such a study has not been done so far and has now become the need of the hour now next is your clear definition of sups why this is important for this ban to be successful we need a clear definition of sups and currently different definitions are used by different governments like state governments and different governments of the countries have different definitions single use simply means products that are used once and then discarded now this includes a huge amount of packaging waste including water bottles and so a clear definition is very critical and any plastic that is made for polymers is single use plastic according to united nations okay so this is the definition of united nations then if we jump to australia is that the single plastic includes your only shopping bags cups straws and packaging then your european commissions if we come to european union european commissions definition it says single use plastics can include any disposable plastic item designed to be used only once so therefore specific definitions pertaining to the composition uses and categories of single use plastics should be framed so this is how we can help to face out the plastics now next is your national action plan for facing out sups so there is actually a need for this national action plan or guidelines that should focus to implement plastic ban in a phase wise manner in terms of urgency so this mean products that have alternatives available should be faced out earlier then those that don't have alternatives simultaneously reinforcing research and development funding for different alternatives and eco friendly products so now if we want to go towards this phase wise banning that it should be developed so it should be developed based on materials recyclability availability of alternatives and even your livelihood security to the informal sector so keeping this and current post consumption patterns in mind these patterns if we keep them in mind a framework indicating range of like what is the range of single use plastic material products it needs to be devised so that it can assist the policy makers in ideating that they so with the help of this data only they can plan and execute the phase wise sup ban next in phase out plastic you can talk about we should work towards strengthening waste management system so what does this mean like imposing ban on sup is only a part so this is just a small part of a bigger solution and not the whole solution so however better waste management systems with focus on segregation incentive models can help achieve long term impacts now if cities segregate waste into three fractions what could be these three fractions they segregate waste as wet waste dry waste domestic hazardous waste which is dangerous and if municipalities create infrastructure in terms of material recovery facilities or sorting station where they can differentiate at the source so dry waste can be sorted into different fraction so this is then has value and a market and will not end up as littering all around so we need to the word is we need to source segregate right we need to separate this waste at the source itself so now coming back to recycling establishing and monitoring domestic recycling units in every state in union territory incentivizing the recyclers in the unorganized sectors should be promoted so there should be a training 
for your low skilled recyclers because all around you you can see there are recyclers that, but they're very low skilled so we need to train them we need to set up an effective grievance redressal mechanism we need to set up a life cycle and cost analysis plastic alternatives that how they should be formulated and explored by the legislative bodies and this is to increase the recycling efficiency in the country and implement effective and sustainable solution at every stage of banning single use plastic now then you can talk about effective epr implementation that is extended producer responsibility policy tools and its implementation then you need to discourage small pack mlp sachets mlp is your multi layered plastic we need to discourage the use like you use shampoo sachets sauce sachets then your jam sachets likewise so lighter and portable and cost effective nature of single serve sachets makes them a major environmental menace as it is one of the major source of plastic waste and litter as their collection is economically non viable hence the production of small packs such as single use pouches and sachets should be discouraged and a regulation be enforced instead of your polypropylene packaged items can brought into stream to cater to low income groups and also have high recyclability also and the last step here what we can do to face out plastic is reducing plastic content in mlp so already the multi layered plastic that we are use these are the ideal packaging materials were tailored by combining different materials with customized functionality so we need to cut on these so latest feasible techniques and technologies may be employed to cut down the use of multi polymers right so these are the few steps but now okay here you can see the classification of single use plastic you can take a screenshot of this slide right now next is alternatives to single use plastic because alternatives are very important if you want to face out the Uh, these uh, plastic single use plastic so what are the alternatives we have so devising your feasible alternatives for single use plastic items and targeting consumers and retailers for better marketing is actually needed however their availability and affordability still remains a challenge now for solutions you can provide a robust infrastructures strengthen market innovation in entrepreneurship add subsidy incentivize the consumers at domestic level also through analysis on the alternatives versus their carbon footprint as compared to sups need to be done to push for any kind of alternative for this example cotton bags could be used from virgin cotton kulhad cups baked in kilns have a higher environmental footprint uh, print than your plastics and also options giving enough time to transition to industry along the tax rebates for alternative industry needs to be explored and this point is very very important like in the present context if we talk about jute upcycled cloth bags bamboo wooden cutlery leaf based plates glass metal containers these are some of the very immediate alternatives that can replace the single use plastic so in way forward what can you say that presently the consumer awareness about negative impacts of littering single use plastic in available reuse system and waste management is very limited so how can we move forward by creating awareness among the consumers next further thing is to strengthen through communication we can have a strategic planning consumer awareness media we can involve media in such things scientific research constructive amendments these are the uh, further things to strengthen this facing out of plastics and these mechanisms will not only actually improve your economic consciousness consciousness among the citizens but it can actually help to empower encourage widespread actions which are actually environment and eco friendly so this is all about today's lecture thank you so this is a channel study iq if you're preparing for upsc or any government exam our pen drive and tablet courses are available if you're preparing for upsc csc 2020 our pen drive course is available where you can find 100% coverage of upsc vas syllabus daily current affair updates will be available self paced learning process is provided 
This course has been prepared by top faculties of Study IQ, and now you can purchase this course at Rs. 625 per month only. For additional information, you can visit our site, and there are the phone numbers also given. You can call them and gain the additional information. You can connect with me for my video updates on Instagram and Facebook because I feel together we can make a huge difference. For queries, you can even email me. Thank you so much.